So I recently gained some weight and I have this full box of jeans that no longer fit me and some of them are just faded off like I don't wear them anymore. So I decided I'm going to put these to good use and do some recycling things. So let's get to work. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Maybe TikTok, I guess. Well, let's get to work. I started off by losing each and every one of those jeans like this was the hardest part of the work i don't want to just start tearing them because i don't want to waste any parts of this jean so i just was, i was losing it taking out the pockets get the parts that i wanted to make use of and as at this point i did not really have an idea in my head of what i wanted to use this for i was just going with the flow so i have this cargo pants i made last year and they kind of have the fit that i would want for these trousers so i'm going to be using them but the waist of the um cargo pants the waist no longer fits it's it's kind of tight so we're going to work on that and i'm going to lose the side seam and the inseam and also take out the waistband of this trouser i'm going to take that out so i started off by losing it I'm just losing. This thing is hard, guy. Anyways, my baby's came to say hi. There's Lulu and Sky, her baby. And I gave them some pets and then chased them away. And as usual, they left evidence of their um, presence. So I dusted that off and I got back to work. And that's me taking out the waistband. One more. At this point, I was really tired and I've not even started anything so yeah that was me losing i finished losing and this is the front piece of the cargo pants that i lost this front piece this is what i'm going to be using as a canvas for my work so i started cutting out bits and pieces of the jeans and trousers that i lost before just start cutting them out because at this point i was beginning to have an idea of what i wanted to do with them so i was just cutting this into little bits and pieces and that was what i had that was what i came out with so we're going to go on to the next gender which is placing these fragments of jeans on this cargo pants which i'm using as my template and i'm just placing them seeing where i like them and anyone i don't like how it is placed i'm just going to change it placing this down to see how it is before i use my glue to glue them down so this was actually really time consuming and i initially wanted to use pins to like hold this down but ah, that would have taken me ages so i decided to use my glue to just hold them down before i'll take them to my machine and sew down each and every one of the pieces that i glued down so it's going to last so this is my jean needle size i use size 90 and i'm just checking if my machine is sewing properly before i start sewing on my actual project so i started out with my zigzag stitch because i wanted to give this a more decorative outlook so i'm using zigzag stitch to so you can use your straight stitch whichever one i just wanted to like it's already looking crazy so i wanted to, i wanted it to look crazier so i sew down on each and every one of the um gene fragments that i glued down and yeah i then use my glue to like just cover up all those openings so i'm taking out the pockets because i don't want to sew on top of the pockets and i don't want to sew it closed so i'm taking it out and i'm also going to cover it with jeans and place it back and sew it down so after i was done with the pockets this is the front like just one part of the front wood and this took me almost two hours and five needles like i broke many of my needles to just get to this point so here's what the front side one side of the front is looking like so i'm actually liking how this is coming out i still don't have the actual final image in my head but i like how this is turning out so far so i'm going to do the same thing that i did for one side for the other side just place down the jeans i'm just there freeing that one so it's going to look crazier than it already looks so this was the outcome of when I finished gluing down the front piece. So I went ahead and did the same thing to the back piece. And I added pockets and did a little bit of design on the pocket. Added cover for the pockets. There are a lot of pockets on this trouser, a whole lot of pockets. So I'm just going to join the front piece 
to the back piece and let's say a little bit of prayer for the amount of needles that i lost in this project because i lost a lot of projects so i'm going to add um a side cargo pocket to this even though it's not really going to be noticeable i just added that and i sewed that down sewed the pocket down and sewed the cover down also so after i was done with that i went ahead to finish my inseam just finish it down and once I finished that off, I went ahead to do the final step, which is joining back the waistband I took off initially. But I used a jean waistband this time. And I went ahead to also sew down the belt loop and added this um, gimmick that I took out from one of the jeans. And this was the final look. Like, this came out so beautiful. A lot of pockets. For you people that are looking for where to hide something, there were a lot of pockets on these jeans. Like, I loved the outcome of this. I loved how it came out. I really liked it. I really, really, really liked it. I was so happy that my jeans that I cut did not go to waste. And this was how I styled it. This was how I styled it. Like, I made a little jean top for it, too. And this outfit was just superb. I loved it. I love it so much. It's out for sale, Shai, in case anybody wants it. Them is not giving. Like, this was really, really beautiful. Well, bye, guys. See you on the next one. Hey, hey, please go back and subscribe. If you've not subscribed, go back and subscribe now. <laughs>